people search for Jesus and think that they found him. But in the end, they're going to realize one thing. They didn't find him, find him, find him, find him. Many people search for the truth and never find it. But if you want to know the truth about God, what we got to do, we got to be the Holy Ghost. Hello and welcome to the Word of Truth, our cable show that's designed to better help you understand your Bible. My name is Frank and I'll be the teacher for today and reading for me today will be Brother Tori. The title of today's lesson, brothers and sisters, is The Importance of Sound Doctrine. Once again, that's the importance of sound doctrine. Brothers and sisters, this lesson today is basically about truth, the Bible truth, and the worldly lies that's being taught in the name of religion, brothers and sisters. And we're going to dispel that, brothers and sisters, with the doctrine that is from the Bible. We're going to start this lesson out, brothers and sisters, by finding out what is doctrine. We're going to go into the Revell Bible Dictionary, page 177. I'm going to have the bro brother read the word doctrine. Go ahead, brother. Doctrine. The authoritative teaching of truths to be believed. The authoritative teaching of truth. The teaching of truth. That's what doctrine is. Go ahead. The Greek words translated doctrine simply means teaching. The earliest teaching of the church focused on Jesus and are reflected in the sermons of Peter and Paul recorded in Acts. These sermons present the historical Jesus as God's Messiah who died for our sins, who was raised from the dead and became the means of salvation for all who trust in his name. Now, we're going to go into our Bible, brothers and sisters, and we're going to look at doctrine, brothers and sisters. There's, there's, uh, there's Bible doctrine that teaches the truth, brothers and sisters, and there's false doctrine that's propagated by false prophets, brothers and sisters. We're going to start this out in Matthew, the 24th chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 3. Here in this 24th chapter of Matthew, this is end-time prophecy that's being fulfilled, brother, that's being prophesied. And um, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, uh, they, they asked him to see not all these things. Uh, and they came to him and they asked him, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. And he's going to tell them that, brothers and sisters. Pick it up at verse 3, brother. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came in privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? In that second chapter, in that second verse, brothers and sisters, he had told them that, See not all these things, verily I say unto you, there should not be left here one stone upon another mm -hmm. that should not be thrown down. And then he said to them, uh, they asked him, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus is going to go ahead and, and tell them, Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Well, the very first thing he told them was, Take heed that no man deceive you. Mm -hmm. Why did he tell them that, brothers? Because he knew that there would be much deception going on in the end time. Go ahead and read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. He said, and all these are the beginning of sorrows. Skip down to verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise. And shall deceive many. And they had asked him for signs, brothers and sisters, signs of the end time. And what did he tell them? Many false prophets would rise and shall deceive many. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the deception that will be going on, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Matthew, the seventh chapter. Matthew, chapter seven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And let's pick it up at verse 21, Matthew 7 and 21. Go ahead, brother. Not everyone that saith unto me. And this is Jesus speaking. He said, not everyone that saith unto me. Lord, Lord, 
shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Did you catch that, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters? Not your lip service, brothers and sisters, but your actions. That's right. He said, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, because they will Jesus you to death, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters, but they're not going to do nothing that Jesus tells them to do. He says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth, doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Go ahead. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Oh, that's got to hurt, brothers that and hurt. sisters. You're talking about people, brothers and sisters, that have been sitting in church 40 and 50 years, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. on the usher board and on the nurses board and all, all them other boards mm -hmm. and the deacon board and all them other boards, brothers and sisters, <laughs> for, for 30, 40, 50 years. And then he's going to profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Let's go to Matthew, the 25th chapter. Mm. Matthew 25. Sitting up in there all those right. years, brothers and sisters. Right. Never understanding and never doing what Jesus tells them to do, brothers mm. and sisters. Mm. For one thing, they're sitting up in there on Sunday. Right. From when, the the week. <laughs> when, Jesus, when Jesus clearly throughout the Bible, he tells you that the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. That's right. <laughs> so they're in there on the wrong day. Mm -hmm. Don't know that they worshiping the S-U-N and not the S-O-N, brothers right, and sisters. Real. <laughs> Matthew 25, I want you to pick it up at verse 31. Go ahead, brother. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all his holy, holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered... The Son of Man, that's Jesus, go ahead. And before him should be gathered all nations. And he says, separate the one from the another, as the shepherd divide his sheep from the goats. And before him shall be gathered all nations, mm -hmm. and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Go ahead. And he shall set up the, seat on, the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. And he's going to set the sheep on his right hand, brothers and sisters, but the goats he's going to set on the left. Go ahead. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. This is eternal life, brothers and sisters. Right. You need to make sure that you are on the right hand, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Let's skip down to verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed unto everlasting fire, prepared for devil and his angels. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, mm. into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. You want to know how not to be the left hand. You want to know how to be the right hand, brothers go, bro. and sisters. There you go. One of these is talking about truth, the right hand, and the other, the left hand, is talking about lies, brothers and go. sisters. Sound doctrine on the right. False doctrine on the left, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Let's go and take a look at some of these left-handed people. Let's go to Romans, <laughs> the first chapter. Romans, chapter 1. And take a look at what they are doing, brothers and sisters. Mm. This is what's being taught exactly. today, brothers and exactly. sisters. This is what's going on in the world today. And, and, and if you don't have a clue about all the destruction and, and the wickedness that's going on, you're getting ready to read about yep. it right now. Yep. Pick it up in verse 16. Go ahead. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God and to salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. 
For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all uncleanness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Oh, wait a minute. The very first thing we find out is that they are holding the truth in unrighteousness. So you know what that tells me? They know the truth, mm -hmm. but they just not teaching it, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. 19. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. Oh, there it is. God already has showed it mm -hmm. unto them, brothers and sisters, but they are holding it in unrighteousness, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even this eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Being that, when they knew God, they glorified them not as God, neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Read. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own body between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie. What did they do? Change the truth of God into a lie. They changed the truth of God into a lie, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. And they worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Go ahead and read. Who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. For even that woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving that the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. Read. And and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, what did they do? They changed the truth of God into a lie. Go ahead and read. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Go ahead and read. To do those things which are not convenient. To do those things which are not convenient. Go ahead and read. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Go ahead. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness. Mal maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud. Does, does, does this sound like mm. sound doctrine? Does this sound like the word of God, brothers no, and sisters? No, it is not, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Can you see now, brothers and sisters, why the world is in the condition that it is today, brothers right. and sisters? Go ahead and read. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implicable, unmerciful. Know, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do they do it, mm -hmm. but they have pleasure in them that do, do them also, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Let's go to John, the 17th chapter. Birds of a feather. John chapter 17. Now, we just took a look, brothers and sisters, at some of the things that was taking place on the left, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Now let's take a look at what's being taught on the right. John 17, I want you to pick it up at verse 14. Go ahead and read. I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them. This is Jesus talking. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. And brothers and sisters, when you... When you come with the true word of God, brothers and sisters, the world is going to hate you, brothers mm. and sisters. Go ahead and read. Because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. 
They are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world. Them people that was in that Romans 16 through yeah. 32, that was all worldly, brothers yes, and right. sisters. What does Jesus tell us here? They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Go ahead and read. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Mm -hmm. What is sound doctrine, brothers word and sisters? It is the word of God, brothers and sisters. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. It is the word of God. That's right, brother. If you need spiritual healing, brothers and sisters, it's the word of God that mm -hmm. will heal you, brothers and sisters. Right. If you need your finances, brothers and sisters, it's the word of God, brothers and Absolutely. sisters. If you need a job, brothers and sisters, it's the word of God. That's right. If you consider in a relationship, brothers and sisters, you need to get into the word of God, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. It heals, brothers and yes, sisters. Sir, it does, it mends, makes things straight. Brothers and sisters, that's crooked. So you need mm -hmm. to get into this word, this sound doctrine, brothers and mm -hmm. sisters. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, and I want you to pick it up at verse 13. Second Thessalonians 2 and 13. Go ahead and read. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord. Because God hath formed the beginning, chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Did you catch that, brothers mm. and sisters? He says, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation yes, through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Go ahead and read. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whereunto he called you by our gospel yes, to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go take a look at some of these that were called, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Exodus, the 19th chapter. Exodus 19. And I want you to pick it up, brother, at verse 3, Exodus 19 and 3. Go ahead and read. And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus should thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and I built you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Wait a minute. He said, ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings. And I did what? Brought I brought you, you unto myself. myself. Go ahead and read. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you should be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. What he say? Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Go ahead. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. And ye shall be unto me a that's That's being chosen, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is being chosen. Yeah, wait, wait. We, we didn't choose ourselves. He chose us, right? That's right. He says, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. Go ahead. And in holy nation. And in holy nation. Read. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. This is God speaking to Moses, telling Moses what to tell the people. He said, these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Read. And Moses came and called, of, called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, all the Lord has spoken we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. And Moses returned the words of the people because they agreed they did. to the covenant, brothers and they sisters. Agree. And we're going to take a look at the covenant in the next few chapters, brothers and sisters. But right now, I want to go to Jeremiah, the third chapter. Jeremiah, chapter three. They did agree. Just for clarification, brothers and sisters, what is truth, brothers and sisters? It's the word oh, of God. God, brothers and sisters. 
And what is it that you're supposed to be teaching if you're on that right hand, brothers and sisters? Let's take a look at it. Jeremiah 3, and I want you to pick it up at verse 15. Jeremiah 3 and 15. Go ahead and read. And I will give you pass according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, mm -hmm. which shall feed you with what? Knowledge. knowledge and understanding, brothers and sisters. Knowledge and understanding. In, in, in Romans, I believe it's around Romans 3, he says, they have a zeal for the word of God, but not according to knowledge. You got to know, brothers and sisters, the difference between truth and a lie. You have to. Because many false prophets are going to rise and deceive many, brothers and sisters. You read that. So when, when, when somebody comes to you with something that is contrary, you got to know what is contrary. Mm-hmm. You got to know what the real is, brothers and sisters, so that you can stand up against the false. That's right. You got to know what the truth is mm -hmm. <coughs> so that you can dispute lies. Right. With the truth. With the truth. Thank it's you, sir. With the truth. <laughs> Exodus the 20th chapter. You got to know what truth is. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what truth is, you'll fall for anything. Sure would. I can be I can play, be playing marbles on the ground and tell you that this is God and you're going to believe me. Say, where are my marbles? <laughs> Exodus 20. I want you to pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. This is on the right hand. Go ahead and read. And God spake all these words, saying, I am Lord thy God, which I bought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Very first thing he told them was, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Didn't they have a God in the garden, brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. Didn't they choose Satan over God, brothers and sisters? Yeah. God told them you should not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. What did he tell them in uh, Genesis, the third chapter? Not you die. should not surely die. So they chose God, uh, they chose Satan over God. Skip down to verse 18. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood it far off. And then and they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you. And that his fear may be for your faces that ye said not. And Moses said unto the people, fear not, for God has come to prove you. Mm -hmm. And that his fear may be before your faces that ye sin not. Right. So let's go and find out what sin yeah. is. That's right, brother. Because they lie about that, brothers and yeah. sisters. <laughs> yeah. Big time. <laughs> they want to tell you that sin is singing and dancing and smoking and going out and let's let's get the bible's interpretation of what sin is brothers and sisters first john the third chapter first john three and we're going to read first john three and we're going to read that fourth fourth verse go ahead and read whosoever committed sin transgress also against the law. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Go ahead. For sin is the transgression of the law. This is the Bible's it definition is. of what sin. sin is, brothers and sisters. Sin is the transgression of the law. What is the law? Every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. Let's move on a little bit further. Let's go to Judges, the second chapter. Judges, chapter 2. <clears throat> now he brought him out of Egypt. And he's going he, he's gonna to promise Abraham the land of Canaan and everything, brothers and sisters. 
He promised Abraham the land of Canaan and everything. <clears throat> that was going to be their dwelling place, brothers and sisters. But the children of Israel, brothers and sisters, they kept doing more and more wickedness. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what they found themselves doing, Judges 2, and I want you to pick it up at verse 11. Judges 2 and 11. Go ahead and read. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served ba Balaam. Well, wait a minute. Didn't he tell you in Exodus no the 20 God. chapter verse 3, that I should have no other gods before me? So now what are they doing? They are serving Balaam, a pagan deity. Go ahead and read. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, the God of gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. Read. For, and they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtaroth. Go ahead and read. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, <clears throat> and he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into their hands of their enemies around about, so that they could not no longer stand before their enemies. Whether so wherever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. So they was crying and whining about something that they had they did, did and did. got themselves into that position, brothers and sisters. They were crying and whining to the Lord, and the Lord had mercy upon them, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. He had mercy upon them, and then he, gonna, he, he sent judges, brothers and sisters, and these judges delivered them out of the hand of the spoilers. Go ahead and read. 17. And yet, and yet, they would not, they would not harden until, they would not hearken unto their judge. And then they wouldn't even listen to the judges. Go ahead and read. But they went a horn at the other gods, and bowed themselves unto them. And they turned quickly out of the way, which their fathers walked in, and obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. They didn't even keep the commandments, brothers yeah. and sisters. Go ahead and read. And when the Lord <laughs> raised up, judge, raised up them judges, then the Lord was with the judges, we with the judge and delivered out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. As long as the judge was alive, brothers and sisters, they were delivered from their enemies. Go ahead and read. For he repented the Lord because of their growing by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. And the Lord had mercy on them, brothers and sisters, because of their groanings by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. Go ahead and read that and next verse. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupting themselves more than their fathers. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You crying to the Lord because of the, the oppression that you're going through. The Lord sends you judges. He delivers you out of the hand of the spoilers. As soon as the judge dies, go you go right, right back. back to doing the same thing you was doing before. Mm. Go ahead and read. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers, and following other gods to serve them, and to bow down unto them, they ceased not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn way. They ceased mm. not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn ways, brothers and sisters. And that's what you got going on in the that's world right, today, brothers real. and sisters. That's right, because you, we can bring this book to them, we can bring this Bible to them, brothers and sisters, day in and day out, and tell them, look, thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. uh, don't do this. The Lord say, don't do that. Right. The Lord say, do this and live. Don't do that, and you're gonna die eternally. They don't wanna hear. They wanna hear. They'd rather believe the truth has gotten so washed down nowadays, brothers and sisters, that they'd rather believe a lie than to hear the truth, yep. brothers and sisters. Yep. They don't want sound doctrine, brothers uh -uh. and sisters. They want, they want them ears tickled. They do. <laughs> they want to be able to do anything they want to do mm -hmm. and think that they're going to get away with it. Yep. But that's not the God of this Bible. He has conditions, brothers and sisters. Right. He says, if you do this, mm -hmm. if you do that, then I will do this, and I will do that. But if you don't, don't do, do this, this, and if you don't do that, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do that. Right. <laughs> and that ain't good for you. It's not good for you. It ain't good. But you'd rather do this and that and think 
you gonna get away with yeah, it. Right. You ain't. Nope. The Lord is merciful. He gives you the opportunity to repent, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. yes, Let's sir. go to Ephesians, the fourth chapter. <laughs> we stop at 19? Yes, sir. Let's go to Ephesians, the fourth chapter. The time is at hand, brothers and yes, sisters. Sir, bro. Better get with the word of God, brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. Before you find yourself look, looking looking in and everybody, uh, we all going to be in and you going to be out. Right. That ain't going to be good. Mm -hmm. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. And pick it up at verse four. Go ahead, brother. There's one body and one spirit. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Skip down to verse 11. And he gave, and he gave some epistles, apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. He says, he gave some apostles, and some mm -hmm. prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers. For what? For the perfecting of the That's saints, right. for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Go ahead and read. Till we all come to the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the, of the fullness of Christ. Read. Then that we henceforth be no more children. That we henceforth be no more children, brothers and sisters, but mature and adults in the word of God. Go ahead and read. Tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. That's a powerful statement, that brothers is, and brother. sisters, because that tells you that they just waiting wait. to deceive you, brothers mm. and sisters. They just waiting to deceive you, brothers and sisters, and you carried about with every whim of doctrine. Mm -hmm. the, the big one that they got going right now, brothers and sisters, is the prosperity doctrine. Mm -hmm. They want to tell you that God told me to tell you that if you give us $1,000, that in, in, in six months or three months, you're going to get a tenfold increase. And God tells you there's a conspiracy of our prophets in the midst thereof. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, they all basically say the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> same thing. God teaches you that gain is not godliness, it's brothers not and sisters. Godliness. What you have don't mean nothing to God because all the gold in the world can't get you eternal life, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. That's right. Let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. 2 Corinthians 11. Second Corinthians 11. We're talking about Bible truth versus worldly lies, mm -hmm. which is what's being taught <clears throat> in the churches today. 2 Corinthians 11, I want you to pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead, brother. Would to God ye could bear with me a little of my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. And this is Paul talking. Go ahead. For I have espoused you one husband, that I may present to you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, lest by any means, as the servant beguiled Eve through a subtility, so that your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. He said, but I fear. Lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Go ahead and read. For if he that come and preach another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which we have not accepted, ye might bear where with him. Well, wait a minute. The Jesus of, of Sunday Sabbath that's another Jesus. It is. That's not the Jesus of the Bible. 
The Jesus that's born on December 25th, that's another Jesus. That's, another Jesus. Right. that's not the Jesus of the Bible, brothers and sisters. The Jesus of Easter, brothers and sisters, that's not the Jesus of the Bible, brothers and sisters. That's another Jesus. Right. Skip down to verse uh, 13. For such are false apostles. Those are false apostles when they bring you that kind of, uh, um, I started to say garbage. I guess I did. Go ahead and read. <laughs> Deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. He said, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Go ahead and read. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed to the angel of light. He said, no marvel. For Satan himself is mm -hmm. transformed into an angel of light. That light, meaning knowledge, brothers and right. sisters. Didn't he tell her something in the garbage? He did. He uh, in the gar I say garbage. In the garbage. Didn't he tell her something in the garden? Mm -hmm. For Christ doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, ye shall be as gods, knowing good yeah. and evil. That was true, that was brothers true. and sisters. <laughs> that was true. He told her something. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Read that next verse. Verse 5. For 15. I, I'm sorry, for 15. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end should be according to their works. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers right. also be transformed as the minister of righteousness. Right. Hold on a second. Didn't we read in Romans, the first chapter, that they were holding the truth and unrighteousness? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, 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 they holding the truth. They know the truth, but they holding it in unrighteousness, brothers and sisters. And they are being transformed as ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. Let's move on a little bit further. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Mm. Yeah, they know the truth, yeah, brothers and do. sisters, but they ain't going to tell you. They sure won't. And you pay them big time. For a lie. You pay them, brothers and sisters, to lie to you. Deuteronomy, fourth chapter. Come on out here to uh, the house of Jacob, brothers and sisters, and we will teach you the truth. That's right, bro. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, the truth which will get you eternal life. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, and pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye should not add unto the word which I command you, Neither. Don't add anything to it. Why? Because if you add anything to it, Same. you take away the perfection of it. Go ahead and read. Neither shall ye demonish aught from it, that ye may keep the commands of the Lord your God, which I command you. And don't take anything from it. Go ahead and read. For your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of the pure. And you can read that in uh, Numbers the 25th chapter, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. For all the men that follow Baal Peor, the Lord thy God had destroyed them from among you. Baal Peor, a pagan deity, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. These commandments are your so, wisdom and your and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Go ahead. We shall hear all these statutes and say, should this great nation is a wise and understanding people. I can't understand why, why these false prophets are always trying to get rid of the commandments, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. For what nation is there so great? Who had God so near unto them as the Lord, as the Lord our God, it is all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is so great that that statutes and judgment so righteous all this law, which I set before you this day. Read. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest thy depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them. Thy sons and thy sons' sons, especially the day that thou stood before God, before the Lord thy God in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days they live upon the earth, 
and that they may teach their children. Let's go to Psalms, the 19th chapter. Yes, sir. I got to put this in there. Yes, sir, brother. I got to put this in there. Yes, sir. That must, if necessary. Yes, sir. Psalms 19. Yes, sir. Psalms 19. Mm Mm-hmm. Just for the naysayers and the false prophets, they're always trying to destroy the commandments. Mm -hmm. Pick it up in verse 7. Go ahead, brother. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Why would you want to get rid of something that's perfect, perfect, brothers and sisters? Go ahead and read. The testimony testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is pure, enlighten the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. He said the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Go ahead and read. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Read. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. Warned from what? Warned from the Lord, brothers mm-hmm. and sisters. Go ahead and read. And in keeping, in the keeping of them, there is great reward. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. What is that great reward, brothers and Everybody. sisters? It is eternal life. Go ahead and read. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Go ahead and read. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. He said, then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let's go into evil holidays, brothers and sisters. He told them not to add anything to it and not to take anything from it. Well, we understand, brothers and sisters, that as as far as the false prophets or the false religions are concerned, is that the Roman Catholic Church sits at the head of it, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read the title and read what's highlighted in in, uh, yellow right there. Evil holidays. Evil holidays. Christian holidays are ancient pagan feasts that were ushered in by the Roman Catholic Church during the rule of Emperor Constantine. Constantine was a pagan sun worshiper who had a Christian experience that wanted to unite his empire, both Christian and pagan together. Constantine, a, a Roman emperor, go ahead. He achieved this by rewriting history and renaming pagan feasts with Christian names. What did he do? He rewrote history, kind of like what's going on in Florida today. They're rewriting history, talking about uh, the slaves got some valuable knowledge, (laughs) benefits from it. (laughs) Come on, man. (laughs) You was a slave. Ain't no benefit. I'd rather be at my house than be in your your cotton field. Read that again, man. <laughs> Christian holidays are ancient, are ancient pagan feasts which are ushered in by the Roman Catholic Church during the rule of Emperor Constantine. Constantine was a pagan sun worshiper who had a Christian experience that wanted to unite his empire, both Christian and pagan together. He achieved this by rewriting history and renaming pagan feasts with Christian names. Name some of those pagan feasts, brothers and sisters, that he gave Christian names. Go ahead and read. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Day. Mother and Father's Day. Mother and Father's Day. What day is Mother and Father's Day celebrated on both of them? On the Sunday, brothers Mm -hmm. and sisters. Go ahead and read. Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. Halloween. Halloween. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Christmas. Christmas. Sunday services. Sunday Sabbath services, brothers and sisters. Those are some of those pagan, uh, 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 that he rewrote, brothers and sisters. Some of those pagan holidays that he rewrote. Let's go to the last two million years. The subtitle is Pagan Rights Absorbed, page 216. Go ahead and read. Pagan Rights Absorbed. By a stroke of tactical genius, the church, while intolerant of pagan beliefs. The Roman beliefs, Catholic Church, go mm-hmm, ahead. While intolerant of pagan beliefs, was able to harness the powerful emotions generated by pagan worship. Often, churches were cited where temples had stood before. In other words, there was there was a 
there was a pagan temple in this particular spot. The people were accustomed to coming to that particular spot. Mm -hmm. So what did they do? They tore the temple down and built a church up in this place. Go ahead and read. Often churches were sited where temples had stood before, and many heathen festivals were added to the Christian calendar. East, for instance, a time of sacrifice and rebirth in the Christian year. Easter is, is the worship of a fertility goddess, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. Takes its name for the Nordic goddess, Austria in whose honor rites were held every spring. She, in turn, was a simple northern version of the Phoenician of Earth Mother, Astarte, goddess, goddess of fertility. Easter eggs continue an age-old age tradition in which the, the egg is a symbol of birth, and cakes, which were eaten to mark the festival of Astarte and Estar, were the directed ancestry of our hot cross Buns. Let's get back into our Bible. Let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. So, so we understand, brothers and sisters, that what we just read right there, brothers and sisters, that's not sound doctrine. That's mm. something that was added. God warned us about adding stuff to his word and taking stuff from it. Let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. First Corinthians, the 14th chapter. And I want you to pick it up at verse 32. First Corinthians 14 and 32. Go ahead and read. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. The prophets read the prophets, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Mm -hmm. The prophet, as a matter of fact, the apostles, they didn't have no New Testament to teach out of, yeah. brothers and sisters. They taught from the law, brothers and they sisters. Did. They taught from the law. Go ahead and read. For God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. He ain't going to tell you in Leviticus, the 11th chapter, not to eat no chitlin sandwich, and then somewhere later on down the line tell you that it's okay to pray over a pork chop. God is not the author of confusion, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. But of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Read that again, 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. For God is not the author of confusion. He is the author of peace, yes, sir. as in all churches of the saints. Let's go to 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. Clearly, brothers and sisters, you can see that there's a difference. There's a difference between what is taught out of the Bible, brothers and sisters, and what is taught in the world today, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Absolutely. 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter. And pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead, brother. Now the Spirit speaks expressly that a lot of times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctors of devil. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly mm. that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to lying spirits and doctrines of devils. Go ahead and read. Speaking lying hypocrisy, having a cause to see with a hot iron, forbidden to marry and commanded to abstain from meats, which God had created to be received well, with thanksgiving. Wasn't that the doctrine of a particular church, the Roman mm -hmm. Catholic Church? Wasn't it? They forbid, they, and they still forbid their priest to marry. I don't know so much about the meat part anymore. Go ahead and read. Which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused if he receive with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified... Where you at, brother? Verse 5. Read that, read that 4 again for me. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it would receive with thanksgiving. And every creature of God is God. good, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. He tells us that. He tells us that a couple of times back in Genesis, brothers and sisters. Every creature of God is good, brothers right. and sisters, but every creature of God is not good to be eaten. God separated yeah. the clean from the unclean. And you can go into Leviticus, the 11th chapter, and find that out. Read that next verse. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. It is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Word. And that does not mean that you can pray. Pray over a pork chop uh, and make it clean, brothers and sisters. No, Let's go to 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter. Good night. 
and pick it up at verse 1, 2 Timothy 4 and 1. Go ahead and read. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And if you're gonna if you're gonna uh preach the word and be instant in season, out of season, reproving, rebuking, exhorting with all long suffering and doctrine. What is the doctrine that you have word to reprove from the word of God, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters? Go ahead. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And that time is here, brothers and sisters. The time is now, brothers and sisters, when they will not endure sound doctrine. Go ahead. But after their own lust, shall they heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. But after their own lust, shall they heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. Read the next verse. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. It shall be turned unto fables. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Let's go into Isaiah the 30th chapter and find out what it is that they're saying to the prophets, brothers and sisters. What is it that they're telling the prophets? Isaiah 30. With them itching ears. What is it that they're saying to the prophets, brothers and sisters? Isaiah 30 and pick it up in verse 8. Go ahead. Now go, write it before them in the table. And know it in the book, that it may be for a time to come forever and ever. That this is the rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, mm. children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Go ahead and read. Which say to the seers, see not. Which say to the seers, seers another name for prophets, go ahead. Which say to the seers, see not. Go ahead. And to the prophets, Prophesize not unto us right things, speaketh to us smooth things, prophesize deceit. What do the people want? They want to be uh, prophesied with deceits, brothers and sisters. Let's go to 1 Timothy, the first chapter. 1 Timothy, first chapter. 1 Timothy 1, and I want you to pick it up at verse 8. 1 Timothy 1. And a go ahead, brother. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Go ahead and read. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for unholy and profane, for murders of fathers and murders of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind for men stealers, for liars, for purged persons, and that there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, according to the glory there of God. There you go, brothers and sisters. He say, he say, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous it's man, not. and the law is not made it's for a righteous man, because you can have a million dollars worth of money down there, and I'm not going to bother. Why? Right. Because it's not mine. It's not yours. You understand? It's not mine. I say, hey, man, somebody dropped a million dollars over here. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? I'm not taking nothing that don't belong to me. Because I'm afraid of God. I know that God will kill you. He just told you he would kill you for stealing. Let's move on a little bit further. Right. Let's go to 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter. And pick it up at verse 4. We're going to cut that a little bit. 1 Timothy 4, and pick it up at verse 4. Go ahead and read. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to refuse if it received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou, if thou put the brother in remembrance of these things, thou should be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the word of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wise fables, and exercise thyself rather than to godliness. But for, for bodily exercise profits little, but godliness is proper to all things having promise of the life that is now is and of that which is to come. That this is a faithful saying and worthy of all expectation. For therefore, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. Let no Skip man down to verse 16. 
take heed unto thyself and to the doctrine. He said, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Go ahead. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt save both thyself and them that hear thee. So it's the doctrine that's going to save you, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Titus, the second chapter. It is the doctrine. Next book over, Titus 2. And I want you to pick it up at verse 1. But speak thou the things become, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Go ahead. That the aged man be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. This is sound doctrine. Go ahead and read. That the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men likewise, Exhort to be mind, to be sober minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing showing uncorruptness, gravity, and sincerity. Skip down to verse eight. Sound speech that cannot be that cannot be condemned, that he that is of con that of contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil things to say. Sound of speech, brothers and sisters, sound speech. The word of God, brothers and sisters, to the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say about you, brothers. Second John 9, and this is last, Second John 9. And when you get it, brother, go ahead and read Second John 9. When you get it, go ahead and read. Whosoever transgresses and abide not in the doctrine of Christ, have not God. Whosoever transgresses, breaks the law, and abided not in the doctrine of Christ, hath not God. Go ahead. He that abide in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come unto you, if there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive it not unto your house, Neither bid him God speak. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speak. Go ahead and read. For he that bid him God speak is partakers of his evil deed. For he that biddeth him God speak is partaker of his evil deed. There you have it, brothers and sisters, the importance of sound doctrine. I hope somebody got some understanding out of this lesson. Thing that 